It's been several years now since I got a chance to watch this one and as soon as I did catch up with it I thought to myself oh being in the director's chair thinking about how this is gonna all gonna go down James Mangold I think this is one of his best films to date to me this is very carnivorous an anti superhero film the superhero fan base is there why you know Hugh Jackman uh, Logan slash Wolverine is uh, front and center this tapped into something very unique organic uh, with the mix of something we've already come to know with superhero films uh, a lot of action uh, when it's appropriate the icing on the cake but the layers story the humanity of what's left of mutants on earth this is uh, takes place in 2029 logan is just one of those guys who just wants to be left alone he wants to go on with this what's left of his life He's aged quite a bit. His past comes back with a vengeance. What, what stood out to me is the reality Hugh Jackman's character has to face. He realizes that there are people just like me still left around. I got to decide whether or not to take a stand. It's very much a story arc that is aligned with the original X-Men series uh, films that started back in 2000, 2001, and that's where we got introduced to uh, Logan slash Wolverine. I think Logan is well grounded to its core. Feels like something Christopher Nolan would place him in the real world and not just suited up, ready for action. The one and only Patrick Stewart in a supporting cast role here as Professor Charles Xavier. Yes, the Charles Xavier from the uh, X-Men timeline, X-Men trilogy. Daphne Keene, she's introduced here as Laura, a newly discovered mutant. She needs to go to a place located in North Dakota mountains called Eden Sanctuary for young mutants. Essentially, Wolverine's life is just turned upside down fairly quickly. She really pushes his buttons and pushes him to a point where he realizes that, okay, I need to change. I need to be part of this little girl's life and her journey right now. It's sad. It's also a celebration of Wolverine, how far he's come. I think this film deserves a lot of recognition more than it had received. In my opinion, I think it should have been nominated for an Oscar. This is one of Hugh Jackman's uh, best films, I think. In, in recent news, Hugh Jackman is returning as Wolverine Logan uh, for Deadpool 3 involving Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds. But yeah, it's going to be fun. I hope the film does you know, a service to the character and his story arc. By the way guys, if you're new, welcome to the channel. I discuss uh, all sorts of films of all genres. I'm all over the map. So if you guys stick with me long enough, subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps in the long run. Uh, until next time guys, uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye bye. Oh, 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 oh,